Amen. Amen. Here I am to worship. Here I am to bow this down. Here I am to say that you are my Lord. We want to thank uh, the uh, praise team, the Levites. The psalmists this morning for breaking up our hearts and ushering us in the presence of the Lord for the receiving of his word. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. <clears throat> I'm going to ask you to pray with me now as we prepare to ask Yahweh to 
anoint us and to use us to give us the mind to receive his word this morning, especially for a time such as this. Pray with me. Yahweh, the hour is come again. Let your son, Yeshua, must be lifted up. For he said, and I, if I be lifted up, I, Jesus, will draw men, all women, all boys and girls unto me. So lift Jesus up again this morning. May Jesus be seen clearly. May Jesus be heard and understood without any ambiguity. And when this experience shall have come to a pause, may Jesus be honored. May Jesus be obeyed for thine is the kingdom, thine is the power, thine is the glory forever. The people of God say amen, amen, and uh, amen. <clears throat> I want to call your attention to two passages of scripture this morning. The Lord has impressed on my mind and place in my spirit, and I believe will be a word that we can use to help us navigate the times in which we live. The first is uh, Peter's second letter to the church. Uh, a first letter to the church, excuse me, First Peter chapter 2 and verse number 9. First Peter chapter 2 and verse number 9. Then we're going to go to Matthew chapter 11, verses 3 and 4 as our sermonic passage. Our collateral passage is 1 Peter chapter 2 and verse 9. I know you have it. Uh, I'm going to be coming out of the King James Version of the Bible, and you can read along in your favorite or preferred version this morning. <clears throat> First Peter 2 9 says, but ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye should show forth the praise of him who have called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Hallelujah. I thank God that we are peculiar. We are chosen by God this morning. Then we're going to go to Matthew chapter 11 and verses 3 and 4. Matthew 11 verse 3 reads, Now when John had heard in the prison the works of Jesus or of Christ. He sent two of his disciples and said unto him, Are thou the one, or do we look for another? Art thou the one, or do we look for another? If I were to put a tag on this message this morning, it would be how do you keep believing when faith's core is shaken? 
how do you keep believing when faith's core is shaken? Beloved, in the last six months, we have had an onslaught of natural and man-made disasters. In the last six months, we have had to deal with this pandemic called COVID-19. In the last six months, we have had to deal with the reality of racism in its raw flesh and in living colors. In the last six months, we've had to deal with the deaths of over 181,000 Americans. In the last six months, we've had to deal with uh, colored people, black people, African-American people, whatever uh, designation you want to give, being shot. Uh, be kneeled upon till they breathe their last breath. In the last six months, we've had uh, earthquakes. We've had cities explode. We've had hurricanes. In the last six months, we have had an onslaught of natural and man-made disasters that has shaken us to our very core. I can't get no help in here this morning. Beloved, we are living in a time that is so terrible, so uh, unusual that we don't know what to think and what to do. And those of us who are people of faith are asking, when will it end? A matter of fact, it is these times and these circumstances, uh, these ups and downs of life that sometimes causes even uh, uh, the very child of God to begin to question their faith. It, it takes us to that place, beloved, where we are not comfortable going. Uh, uh, it, it, it causes us to begin to feel that feeling that we are afraid to express. Afraid to express because we uh, have made some claims. <laughs> we 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 hold some positions. We we had some titles, and we have made some declaration that we are sons and daughters of God. We are people of faith, and so it is a scary thing to want to, in times like these, express some of our true feelings, some of the things that we are feeling and thinking because of fear, somebody will call us out 
as being faithless. Somebody will uh, look down their nose at us as being weak and uncommitted to the faith. But this morning, beloved, I, I want to help somebody. I, I, I want to pull back the veil, the curtain this morning and, 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 and expose that struggle within us at times such as these that sometimes we are too afraid to admit to our own detriment. Because, beloved, you need to understand that if you do not admit, if you cannot confess, if you cannot recognize and, 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 and declare and be transparent with how you are feeling, you can die alone. And you can die hopelessly pretending to be something that you really aren't. Uh, as I thought about everything that I have heard and felt and expressed or uh, experienced this week, I had to ask the Lord, what, what, what are you going to say to me, God, to say to your people? How, how do we deal in this age when we thought that the death of George Floyd and Omar uh, Aubrey had, 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 had ended this, this situation. God, God, how, what do I say when right in my own backyard? Lafayette, Louisiana, another young man was gunned down. And a few days after that, in Wisconsin, young man is shot in the back seven times. And while that's going on, a category four, Hurricane is coming full speed at us in the midst of a pandemic. Yahweh, I had asked, what, what, what is it that you will have me to say? What, what, what are you trying to say to me? Because God, my strength, my faith, my, 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 my confidence, have mercy Jesus, is, is beginning to, to get weakened by this onslaught. It's, it, it's just one thing after the other and the other and the other, and it's just, it's just coming and coming and coming. Fire in California, burning thousands of homes, all in six months, Yahweh, where are you and, and, and when will you show up and are you hearing our prayers? I, 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 I just want to ask this question, what do you do? How, how do you hold on to your faith? when you are being bombarded, discombobulated with an onslaught of natural and man-made disasters. You see, beloved, we are living in a time in the last six months where some of the problems that we are experiencing is natural. We, 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 we don't have any control over it, but others 
of them are self-inflicted or other inflicted, man-made. The COVID-19 that has brought the world to its knees, the United States greatest nation in a world to a standstill is a natural disaster. But the decisions that are made by those who are elected to, 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 to lead and give guidance and directions to the people of this nation. Those people whose decisions have caused 181,000 people to lose their lives. Those decisions are man-made. Oh yes, beloved. The, 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 the pandemic, the virus is natural. Elder Wilson, but the decisions that are made by those in authority to cause this virus to keep just getting more expensive and causing people to lose their jobs and lose their businesses and be locked up in their homes and don't have nowhere to turn and nowhere to go because they will not make the right decision that will uh, retard this virus is man-made. I can't get no help up in here this morning. Oh yes, the 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 the, the, the hurricane. hurricane. Yeah. That 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 that, that, that came full force. Mm. Tore up. Lake Charles and Beaumont, Texas, and other parts of Louisiana, and have people homeless in the midst of a pandemic is 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 natural. But beloved, the the the, the system that is set up. And the legislations that are made to give million years and billion years, billions and trillions of dollars why poor working class people cannot earn a living wage. That's man made. Preach. The earthquake Amazing. in North Carolina. One of the biggest earthquake in a hundred years that North Carolina had experienced, that, that, that was a natural disaster. Yes, Lord. But the laws that are put in place and are nurtured by the insensitivity to Humanity to cause young black men and women to be shot down like animals. That's man-made. Make it plain, Pastor. The, 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 the system that allows people to be to be shot down. Because they had a worry. Mercy. But then allow somebody else because their color is different from this color. Mercy. To have a military type weapon 
shoot mm. down three people, kill two and wound one and walk away and the police and those who should be protected, hand him a bottle of water and allows him to go home before he chooses to turn himself in. That is man made. I wish somebody would hear me this rage. The, 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 the laws and the, 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 the legislations and the decisions made by those who are elected or are or, or hired and chosen to 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 protect us. Yes, yes, yes. They will have one person because they are white. Walk in a church full of praying people. Shoot down nine people while they are praying. Yes, Lord. Go on the run. And when he is arrested, yes, Lord, have mercy. There's no scratch on him. A matter of fact, he is offered a burger on his way to have incarceration mercy. because he hasn't eaten for two days. Wow, another young man sleeping in a car that is not on the highway, is in a parking area. Preach. Make it plain. And it's, 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 it's being manhandled by the police and running is shot dead in the back because he's black. Come That's on, man made, beloved. Come on, Pastor. And after a while, you begin to say, yeah. what do you do mm. when the faith's core is shaking? How, how do you keep believing Preach. When, when everything that you believe in seem to be falling apart? Rage. When the strings and the cords or the cords that held your faith together begin to break asunder, how do you keep believing? Have mercy. When it seems like you're praying and the prayers are falling on deaf ear. Mercy. When it seems like you're crying. But all you get back is more Great. pain and more heartache and more some. How, how, how do you make it? Make it plain. In a world where, where you were born and the color of your skin determines whether you live or die. Have mercy. Well, beloved. I thank God yeah. that the word of God has an answer for us. Yes, yes Lord. Yes, Lord. I, I, I thank God this morning, of Landry, that we can find an answer to yes, sir. Uh, this struggle. We, 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 we have a case study in the word yes. of God. Yes, Pastor. Give us the good news. Found in Hebrews, uh, excuse me, Matthew chapter 11 and Luke chapter 7. Yes, sir. In these two Gospels, we see a case study. This case study is based on a man called John. Mm -hmm. John the baptizer. Yes, sir. You, you know him as John the Baptist. Mm -hmm. And this morning, I invite you, my friend, to take a walk with me through the biblical yes. library. Yes. Let us open up this case study and, 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 and see what we can find in it 
to help us hold on to our faith and keep believing in the midst of contrary evidence that Yahweh still reigns, that he still loves us and that he still cares. The first thing that we observe in this case study, Elder Wilson, is the pedigree of John the baptizer. The pedigree, the pedigree. Here, here, here's what uh, the Bible tells us. In Luke chapter 1, and verse 9, uh, verse 5 through 19, we, we see uh, the pedigree of John the baptizer. He, he is the son of Zacharias the priest. And his wife, Elizabeth, who, watch this, happens to be the cousin of Mary, the mother of Yeshua, or Jesus the Christ. John's birth and his name, John, is foretold before he's born to his priestly father, Zachariah, while he is on duty in the temple. Beloved John is not just a, another birth, a, 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 an ordinary child. For those of you who uh, brag on your genealogy in Adventism, fourth and fifth generation, or in 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 Christendom, you you got nothing on John. Come on, Doc, make it plain. Uh, this 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 brother uh, begin to worship and praise God while he was yet in his mama's womb. Come on, Doc, Elizabeth. His mother testifies to Mary, her cousin, when Mary comes to visit her in her sixth month of pregnancy. She says to Mary, who was carrying the Messiah in her womb, the baby Jesus, she said, when you greeted me and your greetings hit my ear, the baby in my womb leaped for joy. I'm talking about a prenatal praise. Praise. This, 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 this is the person that we are talking about. This, this John, this, this yes. John who vociferously and without any uh, 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 hindrance proclaimed that Yeshua was the Lamb of God yes, he did. who took away the sins of the world. This, this John who uh, saw the heavens open during Jesus' baptism and he heard the very God of the universe saying, yes. this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. This John hey. who saw a dove sit on the head of Jesus in the person of the Holy Ghost as the anointing fell on Jesus. This is the John that I'm talking about this morning. You ain't got nothing on John. That's right. John has a pedigree. Yes, he does. And if there was anyone whose faith should have never been shaken, if there was anyone who should have passed all of the tests in the book. Yeah. If there was anyone who could resist and stand up against any storm and trials and temptation, it should have been John, John, right. the baptized. Great. But the next thing we see in this case study is the prejudice of the state against John and the persecution 
of John by the state. Oh, I think I, I know you think I'm making this up. I'm not making this uh, up. It is right there in the word. You the look Bible, in man. Matthew chapter 14. Yes. And you will see from verse 3 to 11. Yes, sir. The persecution, the prejudice. John was persecuted by the state. Elder Landry, because he didn't look like the people that are approved by the state. I wish somebody would hear me this morning. John, John, John did not look like state approved people. John did not dress like the state expected him to dress. John did not wear his hair the style that the state I'm all approved crazy. of John did not uh, talk like the state wanted Play. him to talk. And because John was different, because John didn't live where the rest of the people lived, the Bible says he, 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 he loved living in the wilderness. He That's right. wore camel's hair. He yes. ate wild honey. John was different. And because John was different, they had a problem with John. They were prejudiced against John. Yes. And they made a decision to arrest John. John was arrested and it ended up that John was executed by state sanctioned laws, illegal right. state sanctioned laws because they didn't like John. That's right. Because John didn't look like them. John didn't talk like them. They, they called John a rebel rouser. They called him an anarchist. They Great. called him a troublemaker. Oh, yes, the state yes. was against John because John was protesting Elder yeah. McCarter against the evil laws of the state. John stood before Herod the Great and said to him, it is wrong for you to sleep with your brother's wife. I don't care what you call it, but in God's eye is adultery. Make it plain. If John was here today, beloved, he would be speaking against the state. He would be protesting and prophesying against the state. John will say, it is wrong. That's right. To give rich people more money and poor people left to fend for themselves. John will say, the racism Prejudice, sexism is wrong. If John was here today, John will protest against systemic injustice. Oh, yes. And the strange thing about this story is that the religious leaders of John's day sided with the state against John. Yes, sir. They, 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 those people who were supposed to be the religious rights, they, 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 they couldn't stand John because John was not staying in his place. Great. They had a problem with John because Every time to turn around, John was pointing out their systemic yeah. evil against That's humanity. Right. That's right. Every time to turn around, there was a crowd of people that was following John, and John was saying, repent, turn from your wicked ways. You better get right, or else yeah. sooner or later, you will get left. That's right. Make it plain, Pastor. John was a protester. Hmm. John was a prophet. 
Yes, sir. Ja was not interested in being politically correct. That's right. John called it as he saw it. You know why? Because John was also a victim mm -hmm. of that system. Make it plain. And because John spoke out and protested and spoke against the wrong, the state arrested John and Herod, the leader, yeah. Allowed John to be executed just yes. to please the base. Wow. Hmm. Oh, yeah, it's right there in the word. Read it at your Great. leisure when you go home today or after this service. Matthew chapter 14 lets us know that uh, John's uh, wife or, or, or the, the woman that John, I mean, uh, 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 Herod's uh, uh, concubine, the woman that Herod was sleeping with, Herod had a party and brought all of his bays around him. You know, Herod loved to be seen. He 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 just loved to 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 right. to to he to 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 make to make himself look good. Herod was all about self. He was narcissistic, even in a mist of a pandemic when people should have social distancing. Herod didn't care. He was just throwing a party. He wanted a crowd to show up. And when this girl showed up and started dancing, Herod said, just tell me what you want and I'll give it to you. It doesn't matter whether it is legal or illegal, whether it's moral or immoral. And the girl went to his mother, you know. She was the head of the base. And she said, well, go back and tell the president, I mean, tell Herod that we <laughs> were John's head. Uh, and she comes yeah. back and she said, the bays won John's head. And so they had a sin and get John and cut his head off. Illegal, yeah. immoral, but they didn't care as long as it made the bays happy. Have mercy. Thank you for is stranded in prison before his execution. Yes, he is. And the next thing that we see is the pain, the perplexity, and the problems of John mm. because of his protest. Break it down. The Bible says in Matthew chapter 11 and verse 4, yes. uh, verse, verse 2, excuse me. John sends, oh, bless God, two of his disciples. Because at this time, Elder Landry, John yes, is sir. expecting Yahweh to show up. John is expecting Yeshua to do something. John is suspected a change because he's been praying and fasting and preaching and doing the right thing. But it seems that the more he prayed, the more he preached, the more he fasted, the more yes. he tried to point out the wrong, the worst things got for John. And John called two of his disciples. Yes, he did. He said, go, go, go ask Jesus. Is, is he the one? Or do we look for another? And, and, and don't just, don't just ask him. Tell him who's sending you. <laughs> tell, tell him that it's John the baptizer. Tell him it is John who leaped in his mother's womb when he heard his mother speak. Tell him it is John who pointed to him that day by the Jordan River when he was walking up and nobody knew who he was. And John said, Behold, uh, the Lamb of God who yes. taketh away the sins of the world. Tell him it is John who said, I'm not worthy to tie the sandals of uh, the lace of your sandals. Tell him it was John who heard the voice out of heaven say, this is my beloved son. Tell him it was John whom he told, no, we must fulfill all rights. 
Jesus' name. So baptize me, even though you feel like you are not worthy to do that. Tell him it is this, John. Saying, should we look for another, or are you really the one? Beloved, what do you do? Yes. When everything you believed in, mm. when the things that you taught other people to believe, Mercy. yes, sir. Yes. When the faith that you trusted in, mm. when the things for which you left everything and didn't want to be like everybody, didn't want to eat like everybody, didn't want to dress like everybody, didn't want to live where everybody else lived. When you dedicated your whole life to, what do you do? Rage. When it seems like you made a mistake. Have mercy, have mercy. When it seems like you made a bad choice. And, and I can I can see I can follow me in your mind's eye I I, I, I can see people coming to John and say, "You, hey 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 Jack hey John, come on, have, have you heard from Jesus lately? I mean, did did, did he uh, post anything on your Facebook? Uh, mm. Have you gotten a tweet from him lately? Mm. Hey hey man, has he has he stopped by to see you? I, I, I heard, oh, have mercy, Jesus, that, that, that he's healing the sick, he's raising the dead, he's feeding the hungry on the other side of town. I, I heard that he's keeping people's businesses going and keeping them on their jobs. I, I heard that when their families and friends got COVID, he let them get healed, but I, I have when last did you hear from him, John? Mm. Great. And John began to question his own faith. Have mercy. I don't know who I'm talking to this morning, but somebody is where yes, John sir. was. Yes, sir. Somebody is saying, Yahweh, where are you? God, when will you come through? Why? Mm. why? Wow, some mother who has to bury their child. Some some fathers gritting their teeth. Yes. As they watch their child being put in the grave. Mm. Rage. Some 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 husband, some wife have mm. prayed and fasted, and then they got that phone call that they didn't make it. And they're saying, God, where are you? Oh, 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 are you the one? Or do we look for another? Oh, beloved, mm. this is a real question, especially in the times in which we live. It is a question that doesn't only bother God or burden God or is, 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 is uh, uh, rushing at the throne of God, but it's a question that those of us who are ambassadors of the kingdom, those of us who are on the front line, Elder Landry, those of us who are, 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 are witnesses and ministers of Preach. the gospel, this is the question that is being asked in us. Phone calls are coming and saying, Pastor, I pray, but I didn't gain. He said, Pastor, when is this going to end? Pastor, how is this, this going to uh, 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 pan out? Pastor, why? And, and, and we have to carry that burden. Come on, preacher. This is a Make real plain. question. Make it plain. When you are being hit from the left and the right and undercut and, 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 and just drop on your back when it seems like it's just raining and pouring and you can't even see a silver lining in the clouds. And it seems like every time you turn around, it's a storm and then another one and another one. And when you turn around, California is on fire. Thousands of people are losing their 
homes and, and, and yeah. people are dying. When you turn around, a hurricane is coming. You turn around, a earthquake. You turn around, somebody just on, had a heart attack. You turn around, somebody's about to stroke out. You turn around, some marriage is falling Come apart. On. You turn around, some child is going away. Well, yeah, you right. turn around, somebody has been given a very uh, a fatal diagnosis. You Turn around, somebody just lost their job, lost their business. Turn around, their kids can't go to school, so they can't go to work. You turn around, there's problems everywhere, and they're everywhere. asking what's going on. Come on, preacher. Go ask him. Go ask him, pastor. Yes. I've been in this church all my life. I've kept myself, Pastor. Yes. I was faithful to my spouse, Pastor. And I end up like this. Go ask him, Pastor. Have mercy. Oh, I wish I could see him and ask him. But I can't get to him. So you are a little closer to him, Pastor, or so it seems. You ask him for me and give me an answer when you come back. And, and he the one. Hmm. Or should on, I Pastor. look for something else? He's the one. Oh, beloved, but I'm so glad. Yes, sir. That we don't stop. In this third thing in our case study, the yes, fourth sir. and final thing we observe in this case study is the prescription of Yeshua. Yes, sir. For maintaining your faith. Break it down, Pastor. The Make prescription of Yeshua. For maintaining your faith. We find that in Matthew chapter 11 and verse 4 and 5. The disciples of John comes to Jesus and they say, Jesus, John wants us to ask you, are you the one? Uh, you the one. Should we look for another? And you would have thought that Jesus would have answered, yes, I am. Or no, I am not. But Jesus refused to answer them that way. Mm. Not because he didn't have a direct answer, but because he doesn't owe us any direct answer. Preach. Because he is God. He's Preach. sovereign. Mm. He can do whatever he wants to do. Yes, sir. However yes. he wants to do it. Wherever he wants to do it with whatever he chooses to do it he doesn't owe you and i any answer because all have oh, seen and come short of the glory of oh, god man. we are all like filthy rag there is none good no not one and don't allow the fact that you go to church or yes. that you pay your tithe or that you are nice to your neighbor or that you are faithful husband or faithful wife that you are an obedient and humble child that now God owes you something. No, no, no. The only thing he owes us is to save us. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Come on, yes, Paul, and help us here. Ephesians chapter 2 and verse 8 and 9 by grace. Are ye saved yes. faith? It is a gift from God, not of works, least any man should but yet. I know you've been in the church all your life. Yet yes. I know you give Bible study. Yet I know yes. you're the preacher, the deacon, the deaconess, the usher. Yes, you are yes, the pastor. Yet I know you paid your tithe faithfully. Yet I, I know you helped the poor. Yes, I know Preach. you do this and you do that. But God doesn't know you in it. Come on, Pastor. He has given you the greatest gift and that is himself. Yes. He has saved. I wish somebody would hear me praise today. The Lord. Praise the Lord. Yes, sir. We got to stop listening to these cotton candy preachers. 
Hmm. Break it down. Always oh, preach crowns, but don't preach no cross. Always preach kingdom, but don't preach no suffering. We got to stop listening to these preachers that keep telling you turn around five times and high five Come somebody and say, it's mine, it's mine, it's mine. Why are you putting the money in their coffers? They're riding Come around on. in Rolls Royces and have mercy, have mercy. Jets while you are waiting for a paycheck. You got to stop listening to these preachers. There's all glory, but no suffering, no pain. Mm. Come on, Pastor. Because life doesn't work like that. That's right. And God doesn't work like that. That's right. Whatever he gives us, he gives it because he loves us, not because we deserve it. Hmm. For Jesus says to John's disciples, I want you to take this prescription to John. Yes, sir. The first Please. is found in Matthew chapter 11, verse 4. He said, go tell John what you see. <laughs> In other words, the first part of this prescription is refuse or excuse me, resist the negative press. press. Re resist the negative press. The real fake news. Those people that come to you in the midst of your pain and try to tell you that God Rage. doesn't love you anymore. Hmm. Those, those people that are so heavenly bound, they're no earthly good, that tell you that because you made a mistake, that God has written you off. Mercy. Those people that say that if you are not rich, then you are not godly. Come on, if you don't have a new car every year in the big house, then God doesn't love you. Those are fake news people. Yes, sir. He said, resist. Resist. The negative report and spend time in the word of God that says. Yes, sir. What it means yes, and sir. means what it says. Come on, Doc. Second part of this prescription is rejoice and yes, celebrate sir. with those that God is blessing around you. Hmm. We see that in Matthew chapter 11, verse 5, Jesus said, go tell John the truth. Tell him what you see. Yes, sir. Don't, 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 tell him he has to resist the negative press. But then tell John not to always focus on himself, but to focus mm. on what God is doing around him. Tell John the blind people are seen. Yeah. Tell John the limb people Preach. are walking. Tell John the dead people are being raised. Tell yes, John yes, the on, gospel bro. is being preached to the poor. Tell John because God hasn't stopped by his door yet doesn't mean God isn't working in the earth. On, Tell John to stop Preach. looking at himself and start looking around him and seeing yes. what God is doing and begin to rejoice with what God mm. is doing. Yes. Oh, That's beloved, the story is told right. about a father who came home from work. He was tired. Went in the house, took off his shoes, laid back in the recliner, got him a glass of lemonade and was just trying to relax. Sister Wilson. And, and all of a sudden, his son started screaming. Just making a whole lot of noise, and the man got disturbed. 
and, and came out. Elder Lawrence, and, 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 and he, he looked to the right. He looked to the left. He didn't see nobody, and he told his son, boy, stop making all that noise. You know I'm tired, just got home from work. What's all that noise about? He said, Daddy, it's the ice cream man. And the father said, I don't see no ice cream man. Boy, shut up. And the little boy said, yes, Daddy, you don't see the ice cream man yet. Mm. But I hear the noise, oh, bless God, of the other <laughs> children around the block. And they're <laughs> making noise because the ice cream man is on their hey. block. And if he is this close to our block, sooner or later, he's going to get to us. That's why I'm shouting and praising. In other words, I'm praising man. Yes, uh, I'm blessing God for what he's doing for my neighbor and for my family and for my friends around me. Because if he's in my neighborhood, surely he's going to come on my block. If yes, that's Two people listening to me today that say, I'm going to praise him in advance. I'm going to praise him that somebody else didn't praise die him. from COVID. I'm going to praise him that somebody else yes, still has a job. I'm going to praise him that somebody else is still running their business. I'm yes, going to praise him that somebody else is married and is praise still him. working. I'm going to praise him that somebody else's child has not been arrested and go to jail. Yes, I'm going to praise him that somebody else's black boy or black girl did not get shot in the back last night. I'm going to praise him because somebody else's house did not get destroyed by fire, by hurricane. I'm going to, I wish somebody would praise him today, wherever you are. I know I can't hear you, but just begin to praise him for what he's doing because the truth is Yahweh is still doing mighty things in the world. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So he says, mm -hmm. resist the negative report. Rage, rage. Rejoice and celebrate with those who God is finally refuse to allow your preconceived misconception to determine your faith. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Refuse to allow your preconceived misconception to determine your preconceived misconception about God, to determine on, the strength of your faith. Make it plain, <laughs> The disciples leave, and you're walking away on the land drink. Yes, sir. And Matthew records in Matthew 11, beginning with verse 6, Jesus turns to the crowd because hmm. they have a preconceived misconception about God. Mm. Oh, John is going to hell in a handbasket. Oh, my Lord, John has lost yes. his religion. Oh, Lord, did you hear the question they asked about John or that John sent them to ask? Oh, Lord, I thought John was, and Jesus said, he looked up square in the eyes. And he said, what did you go out there in the wilderness to see? Mm. You go out to see a reed shaking in the wind? Did, did you go out to see someone wearing kingly clothes and fine raiment? Or did you go out to see a prophet? Hmm. Said those that wear fine raiment, raiments and soft slippers are those who dwell in king's houses, earthly kings. Break it down. He said, but a real prophet. Yes, sir. <laughs> Make it blunt. It's John the Baptist. So don't let your preconceived misconception about Yahweh confuse you about who John is. He said, upon all that have dwelled on earth, there's none greater than John. Oh, bless God. In other words, John was a royal priesthood. John was a part of a yes, holy sir. nation. Yes, John 
was a part of a peculiar people. John yes, was, was special. And beloved, I stopped by to tell you today, don't judge God by your situation. Don't judge the love of God for you and the power of God in the earth by your circumstance today yes, because you are a royal priesthood you are a holy nation you are a peculiar people Thanks. you are to show the glory of him yes. who have called you out Come of on, darkness with God into his marvelous life you didn't call yourself so yes, yes your faith gets weak weak every yes. now and again yes you question yes. every now and again but don't let anybody tell you that god has turned his back on you don't let That's anybody it. tell you that god doesn't love you anymore because That's you made some mistake because you got off the beaten path because you didn't do some of the things that yes. you were taught to do don't let anybody tell you that God doesn't love you because That's there's some rain falling in your life because you are diagnosed with an illness because your money is funny and your chain is strange. Don't let anybody tell you that God has given you up because you lost your job or your business is falling apart. Don't let anybody tell you that God doesn't love you because in this pandemic, a whole lot of other things have been raining negatively on you. Don't allow your preconceived misconception about God. Come on, Doc. Make it plain. Make you decide how yes. to maintain your faith. That's right. Because you are a child of God. That's right. And God is still in control. Yes, I know is. you can't get over what happened to your child. I know you can't sleep at night because of what's going on in your marriage. I know you can't get any rest worrying about how you are going to make it tomorrow if this pandemic lasts another week oh but god sent me to you to tell you today that he loves you yes sir he's on his throne yes he is or on his mind yes sir that he will never leave you never. that you are a royal priesthood yes sir you are a holy nation yes sir you are a peculiar person. Oh, beloved, I thank God today for this word because this is a word for me. Yes, sir. Thank you. When they ask, we go, why this? Why that? Why the other? How will this? How will that? Has it shaken your faith? No. As a matter of fact, my trials come to make me strong. My trials come to draw me closer to God. Because soon and very soon, he that shall come will come and will not tarry. Oh, beloved, so as I get ready to leave you, I want to say to you, yes, I understand, but more than that, God understands. He understands where you are. He understands what you are dealing with. He understands your struggles. And sometimes he understands that your faith gets weak sometimes. He understands. But like Yeshua said to Peter, I have prayed for you because the devil have asked to shake you and sit to you like we have. Mercy, I have prayed mercy. for you. And when yes. you would get, when you get through this, strengthen the brotherhood. Yes. 
This is That's my right. word to you today. This is God's word to you today. Take Resist the negative report. Rejoice and celebrate with those yeah. that God is blessing in this season around you. Yes. And refuse to allow your preconceived misconception about God to determine the strength of your faith. Oh, beloved, if you do that, then your faith will hold, your anchor will hold in this time That's of strength. If you do that, beloved, sure. you will make it through this storm. If you do that, Rage. Yahweh will hold you up even though you cannot see his hand. If you do that, Come on, Pat. not only will he keep you, not only will he hold you, but one day he will come and evacuate us from this place yes, where there will be no more pain. No more suffering, no That's more right. racism, no more state sanctioned illegal murdering of people because of the color, no yeah. more suffering, no more crime. Oh, we will be in a place where we will sing forever. So I said, yeah. begin to have a heavenly dress rehearsal down here. Praise them in the darkness. Praise them yeah. during your weaknesses. Praise them. In the midst of the storm, praise him when yeah. things don't look right. Praise him when the winds are Come blowing. On, preacher. Praise him when your family is falling apart. Praise him when the Come diagnosis on. is not good. Praise him when there's yes. no food in the house. Praise him praise when him. there's no money. Praise him praise when him. Sick, but you won't make it through that night or through this day. Praise him. Give him glory. Give him honor my hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare not trust the Rage. sweet frame of holy lean on Jesus' name. On Christ, the solid rock of stand. All oh, the ground is singing sand. Glory, hallelujah. Glory to his name. Glory, hallelujah. Yes, sir. Glory. Lord. For his name, I praise oh. you in the morning. I praise you in the evening. Amen. I praise you at midnight. I praise Amen. you everywhere. I praise you when I'm up Amen. and I praise you when I'm down. I yes, praise sir. you when I'm loving yes, to the sir. ground because I know you will never leave me nor forsake That's me. Right. Hallelujah to the Hallelujah. name of God. And I just want to ask somebody this morning, won't he keep I'm us? Doing. Yes, he will. Yes. Won't he... Hold us up. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Won't he heal us? Yes, he will. Won't he restore us? Yes, he will. Because greater is he that is in Great. me than he that is Great. in the world. Yes, May sir. God bless you. May God keep you to keep believing in the midst of your faith being Shaking yeah. in Jesus' name, amen. My, 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 praise the Lord. I just want to ask everybody right now if your soul was blessed and your heart was touched by this message, unmute yourself. Hallelujah, Preaching amen. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, that's a word. That's a word. Thank you, Pastor. Hallelujah, amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Yes, sir. I'm going to ask everybody to go it on and mute yourself. And Pastor, we're going to turn it back over to you. Thank you, Elder. Thank you. My brother, my sister, child of God, or even if you are not a believer, but somehow through the providence of God, that's right. Listen to this message. I just want to make an appeal to you. And that appeal is turn your eyes upon Jesus. Yes. Look forth in his wonderful face. Yes, sir. The things of life 
will grow strangely dim. Light. I pray that you would receive Jesus today. Yes. You don't know him and you want to make him your Lord and Savior. Yes. I want you to send us an email, right? To Berean Baton Rouge at gmail.com. And let us know you heard this word and that it has transformed your life and you want to be a follower of Yeshua. Or if you were the one who I was speaking to because your faith, the core of your faith is being shaken, then I ask then I you to recommit, resurrender. Yes, sir. You can send us an email or you can call me at 504-621-8418. And let's talk about it. And I'll pray with you as we pray together. Now, this is our time to collect our offering. As you know, we do our uh, virtual offering. If this ministry has been a blessing to you, we need your help. We need you to go in partnership with us. You can go to our website. It's on the screen. www.bereanbatonrouge.com And you will find online giving there. Go there and you can use your debit card and credit card. Or if you're not comfortable doing that or you want to go to old way, you want to write us a check, you can send it to the Berean Seventh-day Adventist Church, 4555 Fairfields Avenue, Baton Rouge, Louisiana, 70802. And we will bless God for you being in partnership with us in this ministry. At the end of the year, we will send you a tax uh, receipt, a tax deduction receipt. I'm going to pray right now that Yahweh will bless you as you pick up that credit card, that debit card, you write that check, that he will pour more into where that is coming from. Father, I pray for that man, that woman, that boy, that girl, that is committing to being a partner in this ministry that is blessing this ministry so that it can be a blessing to others. God bless them as they give. We give you glory, honor, and praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. At this time, we will have our benediction by Elder Manushka. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for your word. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercy. And remind us that you will keep us when our faith cannot keep ourselves. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you, my friend. Have a good rest of your weekend.